Well, hello. I'm not Chuck, and as you can see, I'm not at home today. In fact, I'm in northeast Mississippi on a little uh, farm that we own down here. And I've been uh, trying to burn a brush pile. I'll walk you around it and let you see what I've accomplished. When I started this morning, it was uh, about two-thirds burned, but uh, it still lacked a little bit, so I decided to, what's called in country parlance, rile it up, which uh, means move the wood around and try to get it stacked a little better so that uh, the flames can get to the part and get it started burning. You can see I've had pretty good success right here. And I think uh, probably by the end of the day today, most of these big logs will be burned. I'll have to come back a couple more times and and uh, rile it up, push the pile back together. But I think we'll get rid of all of it. So let's see, let me turn you around here so you can see me. I'm not too used to doing this handheld stuff, so I may get it all wrong. I will do a 360 and let you kind of see where we are. This is, uh, as I say, in northeast Mississippi. Yesterday, I spent most of the day bush hogging this field. Uh, bush hogging, for those of you who may not know, is using a big mower, a big uh, bush hog of a thing on the back of the tractor to cut all of the sprouts and uh, stuff that's grown up during the summer. If you don't do that periodically, I like to do it at least once a year, twice would be better, uh, then the sprouts will sort of take over the field, and first thing you know, all you have is a big field full of uh, locusts and blackberries and uh, sweet gum and other stuff that's not much good for anything. So anyway, that's where we are. Uh, and uh, But really, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about this morning. What I wanted to talk to you about was a guy named Bill Gowdy. Bill has a channel with oh, I don't know, 10 or 11,000 subscribers, and many of you probably are already subscribed to his channel. But if you're not, uh, it'd be worth you going over and taking a look. Bill is an outdoorsy kind of guy. In fact, he's very outdoorsy. He calls his uh, channel, well, I think his channel is actually named Bill Gowdy, uh, but he talks about his excellent uh, adventures, and he does have some good adventures. What he really likes to do is cook and he likes to cook outdoors, and he likes to cook in cast iron cookware. In fact, he's got a 12 quart, or a size 12, I guess it is, a size 12 Dutch oven that he cooks a lot of stuff in. And uh, he likes it so well, he's decided to have a contest to give away a couple of, uh, it's Camp Made brand, is the brand he uh, prefers, and it is good stuff. And he's gonna give away a couple of uh, Dutch oven cooking kits uh, there are several pieces in the kit. Um, uh, the Dutch oven, of course, and a lid, and a lid lifter, and a tripod to set it on, and uh, several other things. And so what I'm here to do is encourage you to go and take a look at Bill Gowdy's channel. I'll put a link to it in the description below or in the comments so you won't have any trouble finding it. And uh, he has a lot of videos of cooking, and about three or four videos back is the one where he talks about his giveaway. So if you want a chance to win a Dutch oven kit and some other things, Bill lives uh, somewhere around Pool 19 on the Mississippi River. And for those of you who don't know what pool numbers mean, uh, the sections of the Mississippi River are divided into pools up in the northern part of uh, the Mississippi. And uh, the pools are the areas between uh, the dams up that way. And he lives in Pool 19, uh, which is bordered on one side by Illinois and on the other side by Iowa. I don't know whether Bill lives in Illinois or Iowa, but he does live in a truck camper. I think he full times in it, but you'll have to go see his channel to uh, really find out for sure. Anyway, that's Bill Gowdy, and he's giving away some very nice prizes. Uh, no entry fee. You don't even have to subscribe to win at uh, Bill's channel. Oh, by the way, um, if I win a pocket knife or some bait, bait or something like that, I'll be happy. Uh, but, Bill, if I win the 
one of the Dutch oven cooking kits, I'd like to pass that on, pay it forward to somebody that I really admire a lot and that does a lot for the YouTube community. Her name is Lola. You know her. Sure you do. I know you do. And her channel is called Lost on Land Again. So please uh, put my name in the hat. But if I were to get lucky enough to draw that Camp Made Dutch oven, um, I would just like to pass it on to Lola. So thank you very much. Thank you to my subscribers. And um, don't forget, I'm not Chuck.